The Little Mermaid is making a splash. I would love to see that. I'll give them something to celebrate. <laughs> Experience it in 3D. Sebastian, isn't it beautiful? And be a part of her world. Let's go, let's go! All right, we'll go tomorrow. Don't miss the motion picture event of the summer. Wait for me! Something about you seems different. She got legs, you idiot! Disney's The Little Mermaid. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Now playing. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for May 26th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. The three-day Boston Calling Music Festival kicks off today at the Harvard Athletic Complex with this year's headliners, the Foo Fighters and the National, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs dropping off the lineup, and a last-minute addition, the Dropkick Murphys will be appearing on night number one. The Lumineers, Alanis Morissette, Paramore, and Queens of the Stone Age are among the headliners that'll be taking the stage all weekend long at Boston Calling 2023. Tom Petty's family is taking legal action against a Boston-based auction house called RR Auction for allegedly selling stolen items. They issued a statement on their social media regarding the situation. Upon searching Tom Petty on RR's auction's website, 57 different items came up, including jackets, vests, t-shirts, sweaters, hats, shoes, duffel bags, signed records, and more, all of which can be traced back to members of the musician's family. The current prices of the items go from $100 to $5,700 each, and there have already been a lot of bids made on them. The end date for all of the bidding is coming up on June 22nd. In the statement, Tom Petty's family asserted that they believe the goods were, quote, outright stolen from a secured archive based on prior knowledge, staff observations, and documentation. They continued, these items have irreplaceable sentimental and educational value for the family and legacy of Tom Petty, and we look forward to their safe return. Filter have shared the official Vincenzo Cordero Industrialism Films directed music video for the band's latest single, Face Down. The song is taken from Filter's long-awaited new album, The Algorithm, which is set to arrive in August. Sir Rod Stewart has unveiled Wolfie's Whiskey, a blended Scotch whiskey that embodies his reputation as the, quote, Cockney Scotsman and pays tribute to his Scottish heritage and cheeky chappy image. Designed to reflect Rod Stewart's rock and roll heritage with subtle nods to Americana, Wolfie's was inspired by the legendary musician's early hell-raising days with the faces. Wolfie's will be available to buy online for about 35 pounds starting on June 19th. Early access is at wolfiesiscoming.com. There's also a thousand bottles that have been signed by Stewart that you'll have the chance of finding. During an appearance on the Talk is Jericho podcast with Chris Jericho, super producer Bob Rock confirmed that he recently worked on three new songs with Motley Crue, saying, quote, it was so amazing. It was just the best time. It was so easy. Really, it was easy. During an appearance on the latest episode of the JASTA podcast, Shadows Fall singer Brian Fair talked about the possibility of new music from the long-running Massachusetts band, saying, quote, I will finally say there are riffs that are turning into skeletons that might become songs. Now, what happens with them, where they go, we'll see. But once we started jamming for the recent reunion shows, we were like, what's the point of doing this without writing new riffs? And we had to make sure we were going to sound like Shadows Fall. We didn't want to come out of nowhere with something different out of left field. But so far, they're coming together, and I'm stoked on what I'm hearing. He went on to say that Shadows Fall is not currently signed to a record label, saying, quote, we're free and clear. We were luckily free and clear for a while, so even our last couple of records were done kind of on our own terms. Speaking of new albums, Rob Zombie is the featured guest on the Howie Mandel Does Stuff podcast, saying, quote, right now I'm just worrying about the summer tour and the next album because it's been a while since I've made a record, and I was working on the music for the album till about a week ago, and it's going good, but it's a long process. Last month, Veruca Salt's Louise Post announced her forthcoming solo debut album, Sleepwalker. 
She's now unveiled the album's second single, What About? Sleepwalker is set for release on June 2nd. And Royal Blood have announced their new single, Mountains at Midnight, which is available everywhere, taken from their upcoming new album, Back to the Water Below, set for release on September 8th. Danzig just announced a North American tour in celebration of the 35th anniversary of the band's 1988 self-titled album. He'll be hitting the road with Bohemoth, Twin Temple, and Midnight. The tour kicks off on August 25th in Las Vegas and wraps up on September 17th in Chicago. That includes a date in Boston at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway on September 11th. Tickets go on sale Friday, June 2nd. New releases out today include Matchbox 20, Where the Light Goes, Metal Church, Congregation of Annihilation, Mike Oldfield is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Tubular Bell, Tame Impala releasing Lonerism, the 10-year anniversary box set, and Joe Perry from Aerosmith releasing his latest solo album, Switzerland Manifesto. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 155 featuring Jay Buchanan from Rival Sons is available now.